well, they have a large uh, biological and chemical weapons program. Uh, so it's a pattern, but they also have the capacity. Uh, well, I'm not going to get into specific intelligence. We look at all of those factors. Um, and we also know Russia has a history also of inventing outright lies like this, which is the suggestion that the United States has a chemical and biological weapons program, or Ukraine does, that they're operating. Russia is the one, is the country that has a chemical and biological weapons program. So. Uh, the objective uh, was to uh, make clear uh, the inaccuracy of the information, the misinformation they're trying to put out, uh, and make clear to the world that they not only have the capacity, they have a history of using chemical and biological weapons, and that uh, in this moment we should have our eyes open for that possibility. Would use of chemical or biological weapons be a red line for the president in terms of direct U.S. involvement in the war over there? We are directly involved. We are providing a billion dollars in security assistance. We are the largest provider of that. We are with providing humanity. With the U.S. military going and engaging in Ukraine and fighting a war against Russia, we don't have an in any intention uh, to, uh, to do that. I just want to be totally clear. Are you saying if Russia does conduct a chemical weapons attack in Ukraine, there will not be a military response from the United States? I'm not going to get into hypotheticals. What we're saying right now is they have the capacity and the capabilities. I'm also not going to get into intelligence. But the president's intention of sending U.S. military to fight in Ukraine against Russia has not changed. The president's first and most important objective is the national security and interests of the United States and being clear and direct with the American people. He has been clear and direct with the American people. He is not intending to send U.S. troops to fight in Ukraine against Russia, to start another war, that that would be an escalatory step that would not be in our national security interests and not in the interests of NATO.